The era of internet currencies just opened, and Silicon Valley is coming for the banks in a way that's never happened before. Now, the bankers have been very, very comfortable until now. I went to a conference in Zurich speaking to banking executives in 2014, and I told them, listen, instead of hiring blockchain consultants to tell you how to square the circle and undisrupt the disruption and pretend to do blockchain, you should hire a former music executive from the music industry and ask them, what did it feel like when the internet came for your industry? When did you realize that you couldn't do anything about it? And how did you feel when you started losing your entire industry to Apple? Oh, yeah. And guess what? The banks had 10 years to figure this shit out. They had 10 years to try to figure out how they're going to handle digital currencies. And just like the music industry should have made a deal with Napster. And instead, they fought it tooth and nail and handed the entire industry to Apple. The banking industry should have made a deal with Bitcoin. It was the cuddly little gecko of cryptocurrencies. <laughs> and Facebook is a freaking triceratops, and it's coming for their industry. This is going to disrupt a lot of things. The really weird thing about it is that the first to be affected by this are retail banks. Retail banks, not the big bad investment banks that make shady deals to bail out dictators and stuff like that. The banks that actually serve customers. Most of the big investment banks have stopped taking checking and savings customers from the consumer cycle for the last four or five years. They don't want that. You people don't pay enough. right? Not worthy of banking. But retail banks, the corner bank, the branch where you know the banker or at least you know them every time you have to go and discuss why your overdraft is ballooning again. But those retail banks that actually serve customers, that have been delivering banking to the unbanked and underbanked, gradually expanding their reach, they are going to get hit hard by this new phenomenon. They are going to get hit hard by Facebook. Because Facebook has not only two billion users, but two billion users of whom they know all of their preferences, all of the behavior patterns. And they can use that to drop the cost of banking, wrap it in a candy-colored, cute user interface, so that every time you make a purchase, the application jumps in and tickles your dopamine receptors a bit, <laughs> and encourages you to do certain things, or not do other things, right? and plays with you like a little mouse in a psychology experiment where you can't see that you are in the maze because the walls are too high. This is going to be very, very interesting as it plays out, but also to those of us who have been paying attention to the rise of techno-neo-feudalism, it is terrifying. It is terrifying because Facebook is going to be effective at disrupting regulation in a way the banks have not been able to.